What's good, peeps? Welcome to the channel, and I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks for stopping by and checking out this video. Well, we've already met Nakia in the first Black Panther movie. Her portrayal in the comics and MCU are quite a bit different so far. If you're new to the channel, what we do is cover the origin stories of comic book characters, especially those coming to, or rumored to be coming to, live action. So if you enjoy knowing the comic book origin of the characters you're watching in the movies and shows, then this is the channel for you. So go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any of your favorite characters. Nakia was chosen by her tribe elders at a young age as their representative to be presented to King T'Challa for the Dora Milaje. The Dora Milaje are an elite group of female warriors who serve Wakanda and are the personal bodyguards of the Black Panther. It was an ancient tradition that helped to keep the peace as every tribe had the opportunity to send their best to train to be Dora Milaje, who were actually potential wives for any unmarried king. The tradition had faded away, but T'Challa decided to reinstate the Dora Milaje to ease tribal unrest. Nakia and Okoye were the first Dora Milaje to serve T'Challa. As they arrived, T'Challa expressed to them that they were not there to be potential wives, and their presence was for the tradition of the Dora Milaje. Okoye fully understood, but Nakia was enamored with T'Challa. They were trained by T'Challa and other instructors in martial arts and how to use certain Wakandan technologies. They became T'Challa's bodyguards, with Okoye also serving as his chauffeur. Nakia quickly became jealous of any woman who received attention from T'Challa. She was so obsessed with T'Challa, she once lunged from 50 feet high into a shallow pool where T'Challa and his girlfriend Monica Lynn were hanging out. She needed mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation to bring her back, which T'Challa did to revive her. She reveled in the attention. When they had to travel to the U.S. to investigate the Wakandan Back Tomorrow Fund for corruption, one of T'Challa's foes, Mephisto, played mind games with him and tricked T'Challa into kissing Nakia, thinking she was Monica. This pushed Nakia's obsession with T'Challa into overdrive. After returning to Wakanda, Nakia was placed in charge of protecting Monica. As Nakia was supposed to be taking Monica to safety, the two got into a back and forth, which led to Nakia ejecting Monica from their aircraft while in flight. She tried lying to T'Challa about what happened, claiming Monica had been killed by the enemy. Recognizing it as a lie, T'Challa told her she will no longer be Dora Milaje and was to be returned to her tribe in disgrace. Nakia fled and ended up crashing and was found by an enemy of T'Challa, Akibi. He tortured Nakia and left her to die. She was found then by another enemy of T'Challa, Killmonger. He healed Nakia and genetically enhanced her. Recognizing her obsession with T'Challa, he released her to seek revenge on T'Challa. Nakia was no more. She was now Malice. Malice is a trained Dora Milaje. Her strength was upgraded to superhuman levels by Killmonger. She uses several poisons and spores, which heightened the passion of most exposed males, rendering them willing slaves to her. Malice later attacked and tried to kill Monica, who had survived her mid-air ejection. Her plan was ruined by her Dora Milaje replacement, Queen Divine Justice. She did kill one of T'Challa's allies, Nikki Adams, before leaving. Malice then decided to capture everyone T'Challa loved. She freed M'Baku, she then poisoned T'Challa's former student from when he was teaching and his cousin, then went after Monica again. Once again, she was unsuccessful because T'Challa had hired the private investigator, Dakota North, to protect Monica. T'Challa and Malice ended up battling. Malice was seemingly killed when the truck went under a low bridge, but of course she didn't die and later resurfaced. Due to overusing the Jaffero spores, she was now frail sickly, and slowly dying. Malice had been able to recover a secret Dora Milaje weapon, Mimic 27, which was a weapon of mass destruction created by the Dora Milaje, who deemed it too dangerous for use and hid it away. Malice unleashed Mimic 27, knowing it would bring T'Challa to her. She wanted to see her king one more time before she died. When T'Challa arrived, he apologized to Malice, forgave her, and asked for her assistance in stopping the weapon. Malice agreed to help and ended up sacrificing herself to stop the weapon. As Okoye told her, once a Dora, always a Dora. 
so she was honored in her tribal home as a Dora Milaje member. Well, that does it for today's video. If you want to know the comic book origins of more characters from the Black Panther Wakanda Forever movie, click on the playlist. As always, I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to stop by the channel and check out these videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you again real soon. I'm Audi. Peace.